Good afternoon from the sunny city of Durban, South Africa, where it's currently 4 a.m. I'm Savarna, and I shall be taking you through a whirlwind tour of our biodiversity as I discuss how repeat sampling enhances species distributional records. The diversity and uniqueness of South Africa's plants and animals makes us one of the world's 17 mega diverse countries. South Africa has an exceptionally wide range of ecosystem types classified and mapped across its landscape and seascapes. Our biodiversity supports agricultural and fisheries production, helps protect us from natural hazards like flood and drought, is the basis of our vibrant tourist history while offering natural spaces for recreation and cultural activities. The National Biodiversity Assessment, NBA, is South Africa's primary tool for monitoring and reporting on the state of biodiversity by making the science available in a suitable form that can be used by both government and civil society. The NBA recognizes taxonomic groups that are in rapid decline, in need of conservation interventions, and where conservation actions have resulted in the improvement of threat status in taxonomic groups over time. With the decline of resources allocated to some monitoring programs, some of South Africa's key monitoring datasets are old and are no longer being updated. This is now being filled by the country's thriving citizen scientist community. Citizen scientists have increasingly been contributing to improving the distributional records of various taxonomic groups by confirming the population existence, especially of long lost species, observing range extensions, and sometimes discovery of new species due to their repeat sampling of sites. This fundamental information is collated on the iNaturalist platform and feeds into the Red List process. We have found that in once off visits, one can hugely underestimate the species that occur on a particular site. One of our case study sites had only six threatened species recorded. After repeat visits at different times of the year, our citizen scientists have recorded a total of 24 threatened plant species on the same site. This has elevated the site from being important to one of the top priority sites in the region. A snapshot from two other taxonomic groups. Endemic to South Africa's Limpopo province, Ericssonia agii was considered extinct until 2013 when found at a new locality thus reassessed as critically endangered. Current conservation actions by the LEPSOC Africa members include regular population monitoring and habitat management while searches for new localities elsewhere in the region is ongoing. This year's Global City Nature Challenge event was an opportunity for our herpetologists to host several challenges. The challenge to increase the number of herbs recorded in the southern Drakensberg region was happily met, whereby the number of records have increased from 12 observations of nine species in 2020 to 30 observations from 12 species in 2021. Thus, my take home message is that special habitats require intensive sampling to assess its real diversity and importance. Taxonomic experts focus on their key groups, whereas citizen scientists are intrigued by everything they observe at a site. Seasonal visits are essential to catch the interesting species lurking out of peak field season. More people need to regularly visit sites and record their observations. Citizen scientists really enjoy challenges made by experts, especially in search of those lost species. I would like to thank the various funders for making foundational biodiversity citizen science projects a reality and the EXA conference organizers for this opportunity to showcase a snapshot of South Africa's biodiversity. Thank you for listening.